ابلاستيك انيميا ويل تيك ذا كلينيكال دايجنوزيس اوف ابلاستيك انيميا لابراتيف دايجنوزيس اند فاينلي ذا مانجمنت ابلاستيك انيميا از كاركترايز باي ذا بريزنس اوف بانسايتوبينيا بانسايتوبينيا ذا تيرن هوتش وي ديسكاست ان ذا ميجرو بلاستيك انيميا ات از ريدكشن اوف اول بلاد سيلز اول بلاد سيلز the three red blood, red blood cells, white blood cells, and the platelets. Here, due to decrease in the production, in the bone marrow production. Uh, decrease in the bone marrow production, this is what's called aplastic anemia. Uh, we have also other causes for pancytopenia. As we mentioned, megaloplastic anemia is the second cause for the pancytopenia due to ineffective hemopoiesis. The third cause will be increase in the peripheral destruction. Increase in the peripheral destruction occur in the hyperspleenism, hyperfunction of the spleen, or any type of hemolytic anemia. So, aplastic anemia, sometimes it's called hypoplastic anemia, according to the severity. If this is a marked, a marked uh, decrease in the blood cells, it's called aplastic. But if, it, but if it is mild to moderate decrease in the blood cells, it's called hypoplastic. Pancytopenia resulting from the marrow failure. Marrow is the site of production of the blood cells. So if there is a defect in the stem cells, as we will mention in the next slides, it will lead to decrease in the all blood cells, all myeloid, myeloid cells, all white blood cells except lymphocyte, because lymphocytes are, uh, arise from the lymphoid stem cell or lymphoid progenitor. Uh, so all of the blood cells will be affected if the hematopoietic stem cell uh, has defect. Aplasia occur because of the stem cell defect. Stem cell defect lead to red active marrow. Red active marrow is replaced by yellow, yellow marrow, non-functioning marrow. You can see here red marrow. And you can see here is the uh, yellow uh, marrow. The red is uh, active. Bone marrow failure may be in one hematopoietic cell line. So it's called monocytopenia. Two hematopoietic cell lines called bicytopenia. And three hematopoietic cell lines, it's called bancytopenia. We will take examples. If the three cell lines are affected, there is a pancytopenia and uh, aplastic anemia. Condition will be aplastic anemia. Uh, and it is due to uh, defect in the pluripotent. Uh, pluripotent means the earlier uh, stem cell. Uh, and also it's called non-committed, not specific uh, to produce specific type of cells. So if the, pro the abnormality is early in the Pluripotent, it will lead to pancytopenia and aplastic anemia. But if the defect occurs in the late, in the late or the in the committed, committed, the cells that specifically produce specific type of cells like red blood cells, you can see here red blood cells, and we can see if there is a defect in the the stem cell responsible for the production of the red blood cell, it will be pure red cell aplasia. So only red blood cells production will be affected. In a condition or hereditary disease is called erythrogenesis. Erythro means red and genesis production. And imperfect, imperfect production of the red blood cells. And this is called diamond plaque fan syndrome. Diamond plaque fan syndrome.